Hey guys, Jameson of Wood Creative Group back here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a Google business listing uh, and setting up a Gmail account. Um, the Google business listing is uh, the little card on the right side of a Google search with your business address, your phone number, and all your other business information that shows up there. So we're going to take you through how we will make a Gmail and a business listing. Now, today I'm going to be making a Gmail account and going through those steps. So if you have a Gmail account, go ahead and skip to 2 minutes and 45 seconds in the video because you don't need to see this information. So I'm just going to run through here. I'm going to fill out the first, uh, the first and last name. I'm going to create a username. Now, uh, only certain usernames will be available, so you will have to make a good one. Um, put a password in. You can put your phone number in. I highly recommend it so Google can send codes to your phone. I, I don't know why they ask for your address and your gender, but they do. Scroll through and agree to the privacy and terms. You can choose a different way you, for your emails to be organized. You run through, choose a theme. That'll be the, on the background. For some reason, it doesn't seem to take in this one, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and click through the rest of the tips here. Um, most of the time, if you're setting up a new account, you don't need to do anything, and this is just annoying. You may want to change your profile picture to a logo or your business logo. You can go no photo. So the account is all set up, and it's good to go. I'm just going to clear out the inbox here. Um, so yeah, the Gmail is good to go. We're going to go over and see that uh, there's a number of things that your uh, Gmail account offers. And if you want to change some settings, you're going to go up to the gear at the top right. And go down to settings. Again, that's the gear. And there's many settings here, but what I'm going to show you right now is the main thing, in which is a signature block. Um, so you can go ahead and type any kind of information and format the text however you'd like it. You can also add an image and links in here. And this is all going to be sent um, every time you send an email from your Gmail account. Again, this stuff doesn't really have anything to do with Google business listing, but I have to create a new Gmail so I can walk you through the steps of doing a Google business listing. So now that we have our new Gmail account, we're going to navigate over to our Google business listing. You can do that by just simply Googling that clicking the first link. Now the key thing here is that you need to be signed into your uh, Gmail account for your business. And see now I'm going to start to put in my business information. It's going to search for my business to see if there's a listing already there. If not, we're going to go ahead and start to put in the information for a new listing. So the name of the business, the business category, you can select different categories from the drop down menu there. You can add different services. Do you want the a location for the customers you can visit? So are you a mobile service or do you have a physical location? If you have a physical location, which I highly recommend, you put your physical location in, again, using the drop-down menu. Now, I already have a business listing, so that's why it's seeing Wood Creative Group. So if you also serve customers outside of your business and you need to make sure you let them know that and then you're going to put in your service area. Okay, you want to put your contact phone number in there and your website URL. Now again, I don't really have a website for this fake Gmail account, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in woodcreativegroup.com. And hit no because you don't want to get a million emails from Google. Fantastic. We're going to finish the listing here. We're going to let it think for a sec. So we need to verify the listing. And so most of the time it was going to ask to verify the listing by mail. So you're going to put a contact name in and it's going to mail you a code that you then put into your Google business listing and verify. It is going to be sent to the mail and to the address that's specified. So I'm not going to do this so that I don't have any confusion with Google about my business listing. So inside of the Google business listing, you can see that there's lots of different things. One of the first things you want to do 
is to go through everything, make sure you can fully understand your Google business listing. First off the bat, you're going to complete your listing by filling out all of your business information. First, I'm going to do the hours here. And it's really important that you fill out every bit of information um, with some kind of information, be it, be it big or small. You can see I'm going down here. This is all the info. So you can add products. Product. You can add a business description. Again, you can just copy and paste this, all this stuff from your website, your existing social media platforms. Your opening date. Again, you don't really need to get specific. But leaving it blank is not so good. You also want to make sure that you fill out all the photos, so upload your logo, cover, video if you have it. More media, the better. Remember, this is a free business listing on Google search, so fill it out with as much business information as you can. So I'm just reviewing my information here. So you'll see now that we need to still need to verify the Google business listing, and it won't become available until it's verified. So again, that's the postcard that will be sent in the mail with a code, and then you can go through that process of entering the code and verifying your listing. Posts are a really great way to add more to your Google business listing, whether it be posts about your products, your services, offers, or just the social media posts that you're making. I highly suggest that you take the same content and put it on uh, your Google business listing every once in a while. And so you'll see you with uh, a verified Google business listing, uh, you'll see that you have all the information. Just going back here and reviewing through. You'll see it still needs verification. And so as I said, once you've verified the Google business listing, it will show up on the right of a Google business search. Uh, anytime that someone searches your business, all the information will be there. Thanks, guys. Hope this was helpful.